Shannon, I've Hi. seen um, seen a lot of your works. Yeah. I saw a show recently. Yep. And um, this is fairly typical of the work. It's, yes. it's this kind of m massive, overgrown nature. Yeah. In an urban context. Yeah. Yeah. Which this one is probably less obvious because there's um, no direct reference to the fact that it is in suburbia. Usually, I probably have a bit of concrete or yeah, a, a bit of a bit fence. Of a fence. Um, but in sort of taking the photos that, that um, you know, I get an accumulation of hundreds of them out in the world, out in suburbia, walking around, um, sort of searching for that thing. Right, um, hunting for yeah. <laughs> pockets of nature running wild. Yeah, yeah. So in this case, it was more just sifting through the photos and there just being that, that thing which is hard to pin down in words, but that thing they're sort of looking for based on um, the, um, the, a few things related to art history and things like that. But before I talk about that, this, sure. this is sort of the moment of, which doesn't explain it in the painting, but there's the freeway running through there out in St Albans. Um, so, so this is this is um, was it a parkland alongside yeah, the freeway? Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah, yeah, with a big sign to say, "Do not enter," and which was ah, the okay. per perfect. Um, which is why it's called <laughs> trespassing. Isn't yeah, it right? yep. yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. But just on sort of what I bring um, with me, I guess, into the landscape when I'm taking photos. Um, is just a fascination with um, landscape history and the way that um, ideas about nature have been put forward in different ways in in, in the in the process of trying to um, in art history. Yeah, in, art, in painting, in in um, landscape painting history. Um, so, what what are a few of your, your influences in that regard? Well, look, the uh, a, a focus that I've always sort of um, Kept thinking about is um, in the is the eighteen no seventeenth sixteen hundreds uh, in seventeenth um, century yeah seventeenth century in um, Italy where Claude Lorraine the French artist worked uh -huh. but um, sort of introduced the idea of the um, the landscape being the predominant aspect of a painting rather than a, a narrative and figures. Yeah, rather than just being the background to the story that's yeah. going on there. Yeah, and then um, a development of a certain um, almost rules that would explain in somehow these um, emotional experiences about, about figure, being in the landscape. And um, uh, uh, when Sal there was an artist in Italy, Salvatore Rosa, who sort of picked up on this um, aspect, which is commonly sort of termed as a romantic kind of okay. ele element to to landscape painting, so sort of kind of a yeah. dramatized yeah. element, and and the drama that exists within nature itself, yeah. not not just in human narratives. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, that's. I mean, there's certainly drama in yours. I mean, there's these there's these flashes of light. There's light up here, and there's a, there's a little glimmer of light there, but there's this darkness at the heart yeah. of your work. And, um, and Claude Lorraine is, is somebody who I've often thought of with your work, even yeah. though it doesn't look anything like it. No. But he liked to do uh, nature reclaiming yeah. civilizations, didn't he? He did these kind of uh, cities of the future that have been abandoned and nature has started yeah. to grow all over it. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. the aspect of the ruin mm. um, yeah, is something I've always been interested in as I'm walking around. Um, because it, it's sort of, yeah, a lot of the time when, re, when you observe that in little areas of suburbia where um, it's just been neglected and overlooked and nature has just sort of put forward its, its, um, it, it, it's, it's been able to sort of be what it wants to be and uh, it's just a big mess and um, there's, it, it's sort of, yeah, almost like it wants to sort of well, take over. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. And yeah, we, yeah. We, we call it a mess, 
Yeah. <laughs> but it, you know, that's just because we, we've invented this idea of order, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, true. <clears throat> and, and I guess that's another thing that you kind of do um, in cropping the image that you, you choose to paint. Mm. Yeah. You are trying to contain that, that chaos, aren't you? And, and trying to create some kind of order out of it. I mean, I, I yeah, think yeah. There, is, there is a kind of, this, this kind of uh, narrative from, from light to darkness to this glimmer of light yeah. over here on the side. Oh, yeah, that's um, probably more intuitive when I'm looking at the photos of sure. sort of um, where the mood, you know, sort of intensifies is in those aspects. Um, so I'm certainly trying to, trying to push out uh, a certain uh, mood that, that is quite um, foreboding that actually is just a very ordinary situation. Uh -huh. you know, so from walking around and these are all my subjective sort of moments of romantic feeling. Um, but I like the idea of perhaps the image yeah, with all these crude photos lying around, you know, just to, to that, that in doing, in putting forward these, um, uh, the, the, injecting it with that sort of subjectivity, um, not always allowing that to completely take over, but still sort of referencing that banal original sort of moment. That well, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's making, making us reconsider what's banal, really, yeah, I think. Yeah. It's making you realise it's a lot more interesting. Though. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, I think, probably what I like about it. And, um, but I think, um, yeah, I've just been thinking more about recently about what, you, what is that sort of wanting to sort of see it in certain ways. Um, and I was reflecting more recently that... When, as a child, I grew up in the suburbia, very um, um, stereotypically suburban area out in the east, and mm -hmm. um, and it was a sort of place where you know it had been cleared and um, the houses were built, and then slowly in pockets um, there were these sort of areas where no, where the bushland would somehow sort of peek back through, but. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, we would go on holidays to get away from that. And um, coming back, and I guess, I think subjective, uh, subconsciously maybe, that um, it's just always been a desire. Once you sort of experience these beautiful places outside of your suburbia, there is always that better place somehow. Um, uh -huh. We come back and and um, and the landscape painting sort of acts like that a bit. That um, idyllic. The, the the ideal is uh, there's this better situation and in, and in, um, Lorraine there seems to be that the overgrown state around the ruin is an idyllic situation. Sure. And, um, but I think always having that that better place or you know, in mind ever since probably a child sort of started looking for that, you know, getting back to suburbia and going, oh, this, this is crap, you know, yeah. <laughs> I want to be, you know, back, back there. And so that's kind of always interests me that... that um, yeah, so you think the ugliness of uh, your environment was very important in shaping your, yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> your, your artistic vision? Well, I've only been thinking about it more recently, but I think um, I can't sort of deny that yeah. aspect there. The, the question of whether I um, paint from life in, uh, at the situation of, of these sort of scenes is um, I, d I definitely um, only done it a couple of times and it's certainly a different outcome but um, no I just um, like I said at the start I just have an accumulation of hundreds of photos and um, sift through them and, and the outcome is certainly different in terms of colour and everything like that, but I make sure that I can have a certain freedom in allowing the paintwork to somehow parallel the feeling, and that's of of the um, of the scene. And I, I don't I don't make sure I get it perfect, um, like photorealism or anything like that. I 
I make sure that the photo is always kept very small so I can um, work freely and have a, a looseness about the brush marks and I really enjoy that aspect. Yeah. Yeah.